you ever feel like you're being followed? Hey guys, Pete here. Today I'm going to be talking about the official trailer for Better Call Saul Season 6. I'm going to break that down, and we also have a poster to talk about. My initial reaction to the trailer, beyond just being hyped that the final season is almost here, is that it's heavy. It's dark and it has an ominous feeling to it, which it should, but I couldn't help to notice that there is a real contrast to the early seasons, which I just recently re-watched. It's been a journey, there's a ton of stuff in here, and I'll try to touch on it all. Based on what's there, I'm presuming most of this is from the first few episodes. Jimmy still has noticeable sunburn, and in that one shot, Lalo is still wearing the same shirt he had on in the season 5 finale. As far as spoilers, if anything I just mentioned sounds like something you don't want to hear speculation about, then this is your chance to leave. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. Better Call Saul has always had pretty great posters, and the one they put out for season 6 is no exception. You have black and white Gene slipping his arm into a red jacket, with the obvious suggestion of him suiting up as Saul Goodman one last time. It's funny because after 5 seasons, I tend to think of him as Jimmy more than Saul at this point, but in the Gene scenes we do see him thinking about his time after the name change and relating to that period of his life. There aren't any black and white scenes in the trailer, and and there is this anticipation that there's going to be a lot more of those in season six, possibly some full episodes. So we got this in that short teaser to keep Gene in the mix. The trailer opens with the shot of the El Camino dining room. This isn't a place we've seen before, and beyond the nod to the name of the Breaking Bad movie, there isn't much context to say what's happening here. If we're thinking these scenes are all from the early episodes, though, then there are several others that he's wearing this same suit. You see him with Kim leaving the apartment, and this is where I first noticed the sunburn. He's carrying an extra suit, and Kim is carrying the world's second best lawyer mug, which now has a bullet hole in it. As they leave in a taxi, you can see that the mug has been thrown in the trash can, and that feels like a transition to whatever's coming next for this couple. There's also a shot where we see Marco's ring on Jimmy's hand, then we see him walking into a courtroom with the same suit, and then later sitting there in the dark by himself. He looks like he's waiting for someone, but I'm not sure what else to make of it. It's funny because when you see the shot of Marco's ring, that makes you think he's up to something, but when would you expect him not to be up to something in this final season? so it doesn't really give much away. Quite a few of the scenes in the trailer take place in Mexico. We see the cousins arrive at Lalo's hacienda after Gus's failed attempt to take him out. We've already seen a little bit of this from when they teased the release date, and there's an aerial shot of the crime scene where there are 12 body bags laid out, and you can see the cousins entering the house. Inside the body bags would be the men that Gus hired and some of Lalo's staff. There's a shot where you see the cousins walk past a crashed car, and then later there's there's someone firing a gun into the air in the same place. This all seems to be related to Nacho. The second shot in the teaser is him peeking out of a hiding place, and he has a tough go in almost every scene we see here. We see him running down a dirt road, which is probably the morning after he left Lolo's compound. We'll see him running towards a Mexican hotel, and then just a ton of shots of him looking scared, pointing a gun, jumping out of a window, running through a field, and then this this one where you see one of the cousins kick in the door at that same hotel, but it looks like from this shot he's hiding outside with these two guns in the front seat of a truck. There's another shot where he holds his nose and then submerges himself underwater somewhere dark. It looks like a pipe or something underground, and you can't say for sure, but then there's this other shot of Gus where it looks like he's in an underground tunnel, and those two things feel like they could be connected. So his situation looks desperate, but there might be a chance for him to get back to the U.S. For his girlfriends, on the other hand, there's this shot of them where they look scared as hell up against the door, and you can see someone approaching. This doesn't look good for them. They look terrified rather than just being startled or something like that, because we do see Mike in his house. Actually, most of the scenes we see with Mike are there, but this doesn't look like a reaction to him. We do see that he finds a safe in his place, and he looks inside. You see some cash in those IDs. We see those in his hand, and that's a good sign that maybe Nacho is moving towards making it out of there. Because again, we do see Gus and Victor driving in a van. And then we see Mike standing outside of that, carrying a large bag. And he says to someone, whatever happens next... 
it's not going to go down the way you think it is. So that comes at the end of the trailer, and it's sort of them talking to us as the viewers, saying that you don't know what's going to happen in the final season. And it does hint at there being hope for Nacho, but at the same time, he is a loose end for Gus. Mike's carrying his rifle. He could just as easily be going to shoot Nacho and his father as he is trying to help them. It makes sense for Gus to want to get him out of Mexico because he wouldn't want him questioned. Letting him go, though? Mike certainly was for this, but didn't seem to have enough influence to get Gus to go along with it in season five. So all of that is to say they did a great job of putting Nacho in a desperate situation and making us think it could go either way in the end for him in this trailer. There's only a few other shots with Gus and they're mostly around the chicken farm office. We see him sitting there with folded hands, waiting. A burner phone rings on the table and he turns to look at it. There's another shot of him in that van with Victor. And then the two most interesting things for me is there's a visit with Hector and you do see them shake hands. Hector actually looks accepting of whatever he's there to talk to him about. And then there's also a scene where you see that someone is surveilling Gus's house. It's hard to say what's going on here. Here. This could be at his neighbor's place or it could be inside his own place. This could be his own people or it could be law enforcement. There's no way to tell, but I'm curious to see what's happening here. And speaking of law enforcement, there was one shot where we might have seen Hank. At Nacho's, we see that someone's using a power tool to open that safe that we saw Mike looking at. And it's not a great shot, but I think it does look like Hank. Speaking of things from Breaking Bad, we do get a shot of Saul's white Cadillac with the lawyer up plate. So he'll be driving around in that soon. And there's also a shot of him coming up to the giant inflatable Statue of Liberty that we were used to seeing outside of his office. It looks like Kim's there with him. There's a mobile home that's painted like the American flag. And then we see these two looking at the strip mall office location before he moved in. So all of those things we associated with Saul are falling into place. There's also this life-size Saul Goodman cutout that's been thrown into a pool. The clothing and everything looks like Breaking Bad era Saul. It, this may have even been made from a photo from the promotional materials from that show. But because it's in the water, you can't say for sure. I looked at it frame by frame and can't find anything meaningful out about where it is or who is pulling it out out of the water. We also see a much more dapper looking Spooge from Breaking Bad, who says to Jimmy, you're the guy, right? Jimmy asks, what guy is that? And he says Salamanca's guy. So I wonder if him paying the all cash bail has made him somewhat of a celebrity in the criminal underground or whatever is going on here. When he comes into the nail salon though, we see that he has a lot of new clients that are waiting to see him. And if you don't remember Spooge, he robbed Skinny Pete with his wife. And then Jesse had to go to his house looking for him. He ended up dying being crushed by an ATM. And that was attributed to Jesse. And it came out that he was one of Saul's clients when he was talking to Walter about that. Coming back to Jimmy and Kim, there's a shot of them on the bed where she says, do you ever feel like you're being followed? And he responds, well, you know what they say, the wicked flee when no man pursueth. That's a proverb about having to watch your back or being paranoid because you're doing wrong things. And she asks him if he thinks they're wicked. And right after that, The Days of Wine and Roses by Andy Williams starts. There's a shot of Kim literally looking over her shoulder. And I talked about it in my last video, but she's wearing this floral print shirt. So all the people who like the theory that she's going to run away with Lalo got excited that she might be in Mexico. And then there's this one that is perfect for the tone of the trailer where she's nervously tapping her foot while she's wearing high heels. This all ties back into their plans to go after Howard, which Jimmy was worried that she might not be thinking it all the way through as far as what that was going to be like. There's a quick shot of Howard's car pulling up to the Crystal Palace Motel in a hurry. And another one where we see him finding a small bag of drugs inside his locker. There's also a shot of Howard walking with Cliff Maine, and it looks like someone's watching them from a distance. In the voiceover, we hear Kim ask him, are you building a case against Jimmy? And you see him standing in what looks like a country club or maybe a hotel or spa. Howard responds that he's just getting warmed up. And when I thought about this, I feel like this is all part of their plan. If you think back to the scams that Jimmy pulled by himself and with Marco, and then later with Kim, there's a lot of getting the mark to do the thing that you want them to do in a way that they think it's to their advantage. So I think that any case Howard might 
be pursuing. I mean, we know Jimmy is still a lawyer practicing four years later in Breaking Bad. I think they're leading him in the direction they want him to go and then planning to set their trap. It's possible that Howard is just reacting, but I like to think that when they put their plan together, they anticipated how he would respond because frankly, they're in Jimmy's wheelhouse here. This is what he's good at. There's a shot of Kim smoking a cigarette. I guess since the events of Bagman, she just smokes indoors now. And you hear Jimmy saying, no one knows what we're doing except for us. And that's followed by some quick shots that flash on the screen that ends up with a shot of Howard sitting next to a window with his top button undone. He looks kind of beat. And then Kim sitting at the counter of a restaurant by herself. And you can see that there's a cup of coffee sitting in front of the empty seat next to her. So there's no turning back. They're all the way in on whatever this plan is Kim's fate hangs in the balance and it's not the only thing they're going to have to deal with because of course Lalo is still out there. We don't see a ton of him in this trailer. There's a shot of him pulling down a bandana that he was using to conceal his face. Then there's this one where you see him wearing the same shirt he had on in the season 5 finale and there's still blood on the shoulder which means this is probably right after the shootout. In front of him we see another character raise his head from a sink and smile. It looks like he was shaving and you can't help but notice the streak of gray in the front of his hair in the same place that Lalo has it. There's been a lot of speculation about this character and I even saw that some people thought it might be Jeff the cab driver from the Gene timeline. That isn't the case. The actor has been identified and even if it wasn't, I don't think that's something that they would have revealed in the first trailer. Another popular idea is that this is a yet unnamed Salamanca. It's possible and I guess that could account for the gray streak in that they look similar. There are definite gaps in the Salamanca family tree. Remember, Hector is Tio. He's their uncle. But probably the most exciting idea is that this is a body double or look-alike. Considering this is happening so close to the events of the finale, this poor guy might be shaving to make himself look like Lalo, only to get whacked and be used to make it look like Gus was successful in his assassination attempt. The federal police at the crime scene are respectful of the cousins when they walk by, and it's kind of unrealistic that people wouldn't know what those guys do, or what Lalo and his family do for that matter. Maybe they could get them to agree to make it look like Lalo did die, and that would give him the advantage of Gus not knowing that he was still out there and a threat. It's a little bit crazy though, and I do think a big part of what's going to happen in Gus's story in this season is he's going to be battling against Lalo. Whether he's able to buy some time or not, he's definitely going to be gunning for Gus. There's no doubt in his mind who was behind this attack, so something is going to happen. Of course, we expect that Lalo does die, at least before that conversation conversation that Gus has with Hector where he tells him his whole family's dead, but it makes for a good setup to see how that happens. And I think we can all agree that that is one of the biggest questions that's out there. So really just a great trailer, gets you excited, gets you thinking, but doesn't give anything big away. The song is perfect and man, this season is going to be heavy. There's a few shots that there's no context to that I didn't touch on. A shot of a drain near an overflowing toilet. Someone taking a pair of scissors apart to use one of the blades. And at this point, I think I've probably gone on long enough. I do have a lot more Better Call Saul content coming soon. I'll definitely be covering the season, doing breakdowns of every episode. And before it comes out, I'll get more into speculation and predictions. And I think that's a good place to leave things. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited about. What did I miss? Did you you see something that got you thinking? I think the two things that jumped out to me the most were the new character with Lalo and, and the idea that Howard was trying to start a case against Jimmy. But let me know what you thought. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.